Hi folks, Don Bob here with another project. This one's going to be a build along challenge build, working with the update 11 and patch material at the moment and proceeding on from there. Uh, we'll see how it goes. It may be a very intermittent one because of the devs development schedule. Uh, anyway, uh, as you open the game, you will see a menu with a lot of useful information if you're not familiar with how the things are now working. Uh, we're going to get into the game. I've already moved the uh, starting uh, entrance and now I'm clearing terrain around it so that the, uh, the entry area will be all on level and uh, simpler for guests to get in. Uh, that first attempt to put the path in, I didn't have the uh, click to 90 degrees on there, so uh, it wasn't straight enough. Uh, the first thing to put in is a loading bay and a staff center. Uh, these are vital to get your game launched and also get your animals in. You need a lab. Uh, so the first animal that will be going in will be a Liel on a um, and a uh, cute little bird. Um, and uh, not going to have um, males in at first. So with uh, all those base structures in, I'm going to build the enclosure. Uh, it's going to be a central one, and there will be a circulation path going around this habitat. And uh, that will lead later on to the park's expansion. So uh, I'm starting with an 8 meter path, uh, just as a place to start it. Uh, it really probably should be wider if the park gets fully big, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, groundwork going in and some water to set up the animals and then elevate some area in the center of the habitat to create elevated um, areas, make it easier for the guests to see these small animals as they move through the whole thing. Um, after the gate go, goes in, it's time to get the basic uh, amenities for the guests. I'm going with modular elements. Um, I'm going to use stuff from the game itself wherever possible, uh, at least to start, and uh, set up paths so that everything will connect using the um, snap to 90 degrees to make sure I get a good uh, 90 degree um, angle to that path that's uh, leading off the main path into the zoo. Uh, I want to get signs down and uh, donation boxes before the animal goes in. Because once that animal goes in, guests will be coming in and we'll need to set some things up so it's staff time. I need to get a couple of laborers to move things around and I need a keeper. And since I already put in uh, two facilities, there were cashiers uh, automatically hired for me because that button is on. So the animal is in, and it's time to vegetate for it. Uh, you can see the red bar up at the top of the screen. That means I'm doing this part on pause because I want to get the animal happy before the guests actually roll in to see it. So uh, still waiting on staff to get through things and get feed out to the animal and stock and get the cashiers to the, the vendors in their kiosks. Uh, so I realized I had only gotten one laborer originally, so you saw the laborer screen again there as I've added a second one to get things moving. And then because I want the thing to progress and get a little bit of uh, uh, money coming in under the belt, I had it on high speed. You can see everybody zooming around there. Uh, in order to build up some time. So the first month goes by and you can see that things are obviously in a hole at the moment, but that's about to change. Uh, lots of guests lining up to get uh, merchandise and food and go to the bathroom because that's what guests do. So we're back getting our second animal lined up. This is the Takasaurus mongoliensis. And uh, it wants a slightly different kind of environment. It's still going to be using the same fence. It got dark on me here, so uh, bear with. Uh, that's what happens when time runs uh, while you're doing things. 
So I'm using the habitat to separate the staff buildings uh, to make it uh, more happy making for the guests when they're on the path. Uh, it's the same, same sort of drill, uh, doing the groundwork and the water in to start establishing things and then playing with terrain elevations and um, vegetation before I put the animal in this time. Uh, so I know I need a certain amount and just ballparking it there while the animal is um, not there yet. And it'll be adjusted anyway. I almost always have to do that, just like I have to adjust the fence uh, to get the right size. Um, and there's the signal, our animals are ready, so in they'll go, and Dawn has come along, so we can see what we're doing now. We get one of the animals in there, uh, so I can assess things and get a food trough in there. We want to make that visible for our guests, so there's some editing of foliage, uh, moving things around so they have a good clean shot at uh, seeing the animals eat. Um, so you're seeing a little bit of editing for the, what's in the habitat, both in terms of uh, what the animal's happy with and what makes it look good. So after Sitakasaurus, we're going with Juchia. Um, and this is a mammal, obviously, and Chinese. So we're going to need a bigger habitat than the other two, almost twice the size of of each of the other exhibits just for this one animal. Um, it'll want more space when there are more of them and expansion is a possibility. Uh, because of the large size, I'm tucking some of it out behind um, the um, vendors there so that uh, once again, I can use that as a shield for things the guests don't want to see. Uh, by now you know the drill on how the habitats are going in. There's our animal in, and hold on a sec. Uh, he's very dark. Um, and I don't remember if I recorded it or not, but I went and checked after I got some of the basics in here. And it turns out it's a melanistic animal. Yep, there it is. Uh, and uh, so that means it has a higher attraction. Uh, for our guests. So we're going to be doing pretty well, I think, when we get these three animals in uh, for this park. Uh, likes a very vegetated habitat, um, well over half of it. Uh, there's jungle in here, and uh, it's uh, going to be very green. Uh, I did forget to do the ground texturing to um, make it more variable. Uh, till quite late in this uh, habitat's build. Uh, and doing my usual thing of grouping the plants together in a single habitat because it makes it easier to do the editing where you move things around and get it more uh, congenial. Um, bamboo is a lovely uh, screen for the guest's vision. So my idea is this is kind of a shy animal, so you know we've got bamboo screening the the main path uh, to help the the animal deal with the fact that there's a lot of people around. Uh, I'm sort of thinking I'll copy for these guys, uh, but uh, who knows? Uh, behavior doesn't fossilize. So you can see I let it run for a year. The park is uh, doing pretty well. We've got income coming in. We're actually making a, a profit, and that's where you want to be at the start of the thing. Uh, obviously, we spent a lot of money early on, and uh, less as we went through. And uh, overall, because of the changes, life is a lot better. So a little preview of what's to come. We're going to have to go for another animal, which means a research station. So selecting all those buildings in that first group uh, with the entrance, I want to use that to put my research building in uh, so it's squared up to all these other ones uh, so that any structure would be um, reasonably connected with any other structure by simple roads. 
Uh, so I'm tucking it in fairly close to the uh, the entrance. Uh, that will probably be a sight line problem for our guests. Also putting in the, the dig center because we're going to need another animal. We've used up the three we have. And uh, I forget also if it got filmed for this, uh, but the, that very favorite uh, screaming bamboo will be going in alongside of the entrance there between the, the entry building and the ticket booth uh, to, again, uh, improve the uh, guest visuals uh, when they come in. So uh, anyway, uh, I hope you, this has been of some interest. I know it's been very fast. I mostly wanted to uh, make the point that the, the devs uh, have improved things with the patch and uh, park is now reasonably viable. Uh, I'm doing things for fairly bare bones right now, just what they need and uh, use full fencing, which is more expensive than using modular or rocks uh, and a null fence to keep your animals in. So, yeah, I think we got a viable starting game now, even though there'll still be other expenses. Uh, when everything gets in, we still got infinite power for the moment. Uh, and that would be a thing. Nothing's been researched so far. Uh, there's the bamboo going in that I talked about. And uh, going to need to think about what the next animal is going to be. Uh, and then with the bamboo in, you can check it. And uh, using the, uh, that's the screen. It's all green, green, green where the guests are walking out there, which is great. Um, I'll probably be doing stuff in between episodes. Uh, so I will set up some research also for us for next episode. And that means going into a couple of the screens and uh, picking some things that uh, would be useful to have next uh, to improve the park's uh, functionality, if that makes sense. Uh, one of those, I think, will be uh, male animals. Uh, and here we're into the uh, excavation screen. Uh, we have one team, and I was looking for a, a park, excuse me, not a park, an excavation site that has a bonus just to get a head start on things. We found one. It looks like it's going to be the dinosaur that's in that formation. If you know your formations, you know who it is. Uh, even if you know your silhouettes, you know who it is. Uh, and that will be uh, in the next episode of this series. As I said at the beginning, it's likely to be intermittent. I've got a lot of uh, a lot of stuff I want to do, but I also want to keep these videos going about uh, how well the game, as a game, is progressing. And that's heavily reliant on the devs. Uh, because they they got to do the do the work to get the game going and sometimes it takes longer than they expect well who am i kidding it pretty much always takes longer than they expect uh, but they're doing a good job uh, and i'm looking forward to where we're going from here uh, now that i got three animals in i had to go back and uh, grab another keeper because you can see the keeper was the only uh, tired out uh, staff that I had. So here's there's a little bit of an overview. Again, the uh, that finances screen so you can see where we stand. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video. I hope to see you in another one. Next week will probably be something different or maybe not. There's supposedly another patch coming. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, you know the YouTube drill. Like, subscribe, comment, and I hope to see you soon. Be kind to each other and take care now.